Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we'll be continuing our geometry course and in this video, as I promised you, like we'll be discussing the basics of tangents of circles. Because like tangents of circles appear like in lots, of, like in dozens of uh, math Olympiad geometry questions, we need like to know at least the basics of uh, like tangents, how can we deal with them. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. All right, so in this diagram, I've just drawn like an, a triangle ABC and drawn the circumcircle of this uh, triangle. And let's say we have a tangent, a tangent line at A. So what exactly is a tangent line? It's just like a line that doesn't intersect the circle or like let's say it intersects the circle but at just one point. So you draw like lines, uh, they intersect circles in, like in either two points or they are completely outside the circle like this. But if uh, a line like is between the two cases, it intersects the circle, but in just one point, just like this like uh, tangent line here, or maybe for example, we can do something similar like here. Well, this point, uh, these lines are like we call tangents. Okay, so it turns out that we have some like nice properties about these tangents. So let's like uh, discuss them. So the first property is actually that this angle here, this angle, like let's call it the tangential angle, like uh, here in this case, D, A, B, uh, by the way, like let me just name these A, D, B, and C. Now this, this is just oh, the circumcenter of the, uh, like, oh, sorry, the, the circle of the uh, center. Yes, this, that's like the circumcenter. So it turns out that this angle here is just equal to this angle. So it turns out like it's just like equal to half of the measurement of this arc, B, A. Because you already know that uh, this angle here, uh, like uh, an angle like uh, on the circumference, like of the circle, so it's just like equal to half of the arc, the measurement of the arc, or half of the central angle. Okay, like this is actually very important, and it will help you in lots of questions. To like when you have like tangents, you can like turn it into angles, or when you have angles, you can turn it into a tangent, maybe. But why exactly is this true? Okay, so like we'll provide a kind of like a nice. Uh, like, like, try like just to imagine like this proof in your head. So, let's let's just like imagine that we have uh, something like let's say a point here, and let's take a look at this angle here. Let's call this point A prime, for example, and let's take a look at this angle here. So this angle here is equal. We already like know this is like uh, uh, as we know an angle uh, on the. Uh, like circumference of the circle. So it's just equal to half of the arc BA prime, right? Exactly. So what happens if we just move this point A prime into somewhere like closer, somehow closer? Still this property holds that A prime, the angle A prime, A, a B is also half of the arc. What happens if we keep doing this, keep making it closer, closer to A until it just like A, it turns out to be like A itself. So now actually if we draw like uh, something like a kind of a line, like it, it was like something like this, and then suddenly we have a a, like a, like a prime is equal to a, so a a is actually the tangent itself. So so now we have like this line, and guess what? Well, like by the same logic, it should be equal to the half of the arc, but now in this time, what's the arc a prime b? It's just a b itself. So exactly like now we get just that this angle here is equal to half of the arc, uh, which means that it's just equal to this one because it's already half of the arc this one okay this is very nice so this is like property number one whenever like you have something like this actually uh, sometimes you might have a question and you have such shape like this is very common like somehow you do an angle chasing or maybe it's giving the problem statement and you get that this is equal to this so you should immediately uh, like think about tangents here by like just thinking about this circle here if we draw this circle, then this is just a tangent line, this one here. So always like keep that in mind. This is very like useful and effective. Okay, the other property that we can also use to deal with the tangents is using, using the circumcenter or the circle of uh, the center of the circle. So if we just take O. So it turns out that if we just like join OA, it's actually turned out that this is actually 90 degrees. So OA is like uh, perpendicular to the tangent, uh, like to the circle of A. 
at point A. So OA, D is equal to 90 degrees. This is also like easy to prove uh, because uh, here like O is just the circumcenter of ABC, we can do some angle tracing. So this is point C. What is this uh, angle here? Uh, like this is already C. So this is easy to see because we already know this is 2C. So this should be 90 minus C. And this is 90 minus C as well. So we already have that. This angle is just 90 degrees. So we have the perpendicularity between O, A, and uh, the, this tangent. All right, so as a summary, we have now introduced some nice uh, techniques to deal with tangents whenever like you are faced with uh, in any problem statement, like in any uh, math Olympiad geometry question. Like whenever you have uh, like a tangent line to some circle, you can either use, like, uh, use it to do some angle tracing or you can just po like put point O, introduce point O, you should think about this construction, like defining point O, which is the center of the circle and just drawing the perpendicular to the tangent. These are like really the main tools you can use uh, right now, of course, with our primitive tools. Maybe later on when we discuss more advanced tools, uh, we will, of course, like uh, discuss other stuff, like maybe like later on, like Pascal. Mm, Pascal, for example, is uh, effective actually with dealing with tangents, Pascal's theorem. But don't worry about that right now. Right now, we're just discussing like the angle chasing or in a, like in our uh, like just introduction to our like uh, ultimate geometry course. All right, my friends. So now, like we're done with, like we're done with tangents. Uh, I'm not really sure right now what to discuss in the next video. We will see. Maybe like we'll solve a real like example, or like maybe we'll discuss other theorems as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And see you guys in the next video.